what is network address translation or NAT and how does it work. In this video, we would try to understand that. When a device wants to connect to the internet, it needs an IP address. IP address space is managed globally by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority or INA and by five regional internet registries. Now, an organization may have an internal network. The devices in the internal network may want to communicate with each other. But all the devices may not need to connect to a host outside the network using the public internet. The organization in that case can design the network in a way that can give operational or administrative convenience. The organization does not need to obtain public IP addresses for the host in the internal network unnecessarily. This helps in conserving global IP addresses. But if some host in the internal network wants to communicate with a host outside the internal network using the internet, it will need a public IP address. The organization in that case can use NAT or network address translation. Network address translation or NAT is a method using which IP addresses in a private network are mapped to public IP addresses. How does NAT work? Let's try to understand that. Let's say there is an internal network and a host in the private network wants to communicate with a host outside the internal network using the public internet. The private host in that case can initiate the communication. When an outgoing session is initiated by the private host, its private address is bound to the corresponding internet routable public IP address of the NAT gateway. In the case of NAPT, the binding consists of a tuple of an IP address and a port. The binding information is stored in a table called the NAT table. When an outgoing packet comes, the source IP, destination IP, the checksum of the IP header of the packet, etc. are modified by the NAT device as per the NAT table. In the case of NAPT, the port addresses are also translated along with the IP addresses and the checksum. After the translation, the outgoing packet with the modified header reaches the destination. When a response comes, the incoming packet reaches the NAT device. The NAT device looks up the NAT table and changes the destination IP address and checksum in the header. After the translation, the packet reaches the destination, which is the intended host in the private network. I hope this helps. However, interested viewers who want to know more can visit the website of the security buddy. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.